Can you hear me? There we go. Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Hi, everyone. How are we doing? Good to see you all. Great day, great day, great day. So what I wanted to do today was I want to um, to talk to you about Clubhouse to see if you have any more questions on Clubhouse or if I can help you at all on Clubhouse. I've been on the app quite a bit. Um, I've been masterminding with other people that are also um, on it, and we've been really helping each other sort of figure out how to, how to utilize it to the best of our advantage. How many of you last week after uh, the last time I spoke, how many of you actually got into clubhouse after last week's do this so i could see good okay awesome so you guys took action way to go way to go all right so what questions do you have what comments do you have about it um how have you been using it and um how's it working for you nobody no questions Okay, so somebody said, how do you get an invitation? So the best thing that you want to do is you want to go to Clubhouse. If you don't have an invitation yet, you want to sign up for Clubhouse, like I showed you to last week. And when you sign up for Clubhouse, make sure that you, um, like it, it says, hey, do you want to tell all of your contacts? Well, I'm going to spell there. You want to say yes, that you want to notify all your contacts, because if your contacts are already on there, they're going to get notified that you're actually wanting to join. So then they can, they'll, like I, I was able to, you know, today I invited a couple of people because I got something saying that they had joined because they're a part of my contacts. Okay. And then the more that you use it, the more that you use it. So, so basically if somebody's on here and you're friends with them and um, you want to get into clubhouse, the more somebody uses clubhouse, they start to get invites. I had two invites and it invited weird people for me. I don't even know why. I don't even know who they are. And it, I don't know how they got invited because I didn't invite them. So I have two pending invites and they're not being used. I don't know how to get them removed from those people and onto my thing. But let's kind of talk about a little bit about how Clubhouse can work for your business. Okay. And the reason why I wanted you all to get involved in Clubhouse early on is because, um, is because right now it's mostly a platform for professionals. There's like a lot of professionals, entrepreneurs on there, but that will change. There's a lot of real estate agents on there. I mean, a ton of real estate agents on there and the, and it will really, really help you with your referrals. That's why I told you guys to make sure that, that you put, if you can in your name, like I can't, my name's too long because they only allow you 15 characters, but to try to put your name, if you can, like your phone number, or um, if you're, you know, if you're at the XP, you can put EXP on there. I, I don't even have room to do that, but, um, but to definitely the first three lines to put in there that you're a real estate agent, you know, and where you live. Um, and then maybe what you specialize in. You want to do that because when people are looking at your profile, when you're talking, you're in these groups, they're clicking on you and you want them to be able to know right away where you're at. What I would do, in fact, um, let me see if I can show you mine now because I've made some changes to it. So in fact, um, what I would do is within your picture and let me show you what mine looks like so you can see. Um, within your picture, I would put like a call to action if you can. So for example, you see if this will click, I think it works because I did it the other day. So I'm gonna share and I'm gonna share via this way. Okay, plug in your card, oh, new thing. Okay, this should work. All right, so now I can do this and good job. It'll happen, it'll happen, it'll happen. Be patient. I have 8 million notifications on my phone right now. So it's like, <laughs> it's not wanting me to, it's trying to do all these notifications. But, I, but within your picture, it's really important that you put on, um, let me, there we go, screen mirroring. Okay, so this will work right now. Um, I swear, it doesn't want to work when I'm, when I'm on this. I do, I just did this yesterday and it's not working right now. It's so frustrating. But here, I'll show you, I'll just show you an example of it. So you can see it, okay? So what you want it to do is you want it to look like, dang, iPhone, cancel. Sorry, everyone, it's just my phone is not playing nice with me right now. Okay, so you see how my picture is right there? 
All right. And at the bottom, do you see where it shows like it says um, textbook to a certain phone number? Right. I have that within right on my profile picture, because when somebody clicks it, it makes it bigger and they can see that. All right. So what you want to do, if you can, is put like the area that you serve, like you might put Gold, Boulder, Colorado, East County, wherever it might be. Right. Um, it's really, really important that you do that so that people can see it really, really quickly. Try not to change your profile like you. I changed mine a lot in the beginning, but now I'm sticking with this. I've got the pink background, the orange ring around it. It shows that show it stands out. And the reason being is because people find you from your picture when you're in these rooms. If you just pop into a room and somebody isn't searching you, they're finding you directly from your picture, okay? And and um, they're not like, if there's a lot of people, then they're not gonna know it's you unless they've really gotten to know who you are. And what will happen is very, very shortly, people will start to understand that you're from a certain area. Like I've, I have already have met people on there and now I know where they're from just based upon them talking so much and me always clicking on their profile. So now if I ever wanna give do a referral, I'll know where to go for certain areas, okay? It's gonna be great for you, for you to utilize um, this for, uh, for, for referrals. Also, as it starts to open up to the general public, you want to start interacting with people, adding value, helping people specifically um, in your area that you live or you serve, right? And then start creating rooms that are very specific to your area. And even if there's only one person that shows up in your room or two people, who cares, right? At first, nobody might show up. You might be on there for an hour and no one even shows up. But if one person shows up from your specific, like, specific area, that's a very targeted hot lead that you can develop a relationship with okay i mean it's better to have one person from your area than have a five thousand that are from a different area right unless you're utilizing it for the whole referral thing um so i'd highly recommend you using it that way um some some uh, other best practices that we found is to make sure you've got your Instagram handle on there. Make sure on your Instagram handle, it shows where you're from. If you've got linked tree set up, I would have link tree set up on your, on your, um, on your Instagram handle so that they can look at your other handles as well. Because so far right now, Instagram is, and Twitter are the only one, only handles that you can put on there that goes directly to it. Okay. Um, any more questions about, about uh, any questions or feedback or anyone want to comment on how, um, on how a clubhouse is working for them in their business? Anybody, anybody, anybody? You just raise your hand if you want, or you can just talk. Either way is fine. Because I'd love, 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 love to hear from you. And if not, I'm going to, we're going to talk about something different. So nobody has any questions or comments? Okay. So then I'm going to, we're going to talk now about Input equals output. This is going to be a mindset thing. You guys don't know this about me, but probably my biggest strength, even more than being a digital marketer, is the mindset aspect of, of who, of, of myself. So that's like one of my super massive powers and getting people to take action and getting people excited is what I'm really, really good at. So I thought today um, I would just remind you about Clubhouse, see if you had any questions, because I just, you know, I went through it so fast last week and I wanted to make sure if you haven't gotten on it yet that you take action today, right? Because remember input equals output, which is what we're going to talk about right now. Are you looking to transform your business? Well, if the answer is yes, then you don't want to miss out on our intensive event starting soon for only $97. This event is jam packed full days of live coaching with me. We have breakout sessions to customize and implement our daily trainings so that you can actually utilize them into your business. We're going to give you the training to craft your personal strategy to convert your leads into long-term clients. So let's go. What are you waiting for? Register now. Can't wait to see you there. And let's transform your business. Okay, so um, I want to talk to you about our activities. So when you, I want you to look at these lines right here, okay? And what you'll notice is when you look at the yellow line, that's you doing something. You're, you're doing work. You're taking action. You're creating a video. You're, you're, um, you're you know, doing your marketing plan. You're getting your listing process ready. You're working on your Facebook campaigns, whatever it might be. A lot of times you don't see that the results from that until over here, right? So you do work right here, but I don't actually see, whoa, I don't actually see the results of that. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Do, do, do. I don't see the results of that until over here, right? Then when I do the, you look at B, you see the results from B again over here. You do work where C is, you see the results over here. So once you get the idea, it's like you do work, you see the results over here. You do work here, you see the results over here, right? 
That is how life happens. But you'll notice, look at the curve. All of a sudden the curve starts to, it starts to kind of go like this. And what happens is many people, what they do is, is they stop what they're doing at G, right? They do something and they do it a couple of times. They don't see the results right away. So they stop or they get depressed or they're, they're, you know, they get discouraged and they're just like, oh, this isn't working. This isn't working. Right. And then when they get discouraged and they say that, what happens is the universe says, hey, this isn't working. This isn't working. So I want to show you a little bit, but what happens if you never, ever stop going. Okay. Now what happens is, is that if we continue to do the work before we know it, we don't have the gap. We don't have the ups and downs in our business. So many of us, especially in real estate, we have ups and downs in our business because we do activities that get us busy. And then once we get busy, we stop doing the activities that got us busy to begin with. All right. How many of you have had experienced that in your business where you've got kind of like the ups and downs in the business? Okay. I see some hands up. Good. All right. Okay. Awesome. We want to keep that from happening. Now look at also what happens. You'll notice the curve. Now this is, this is because of the compound effect. All right. This is compound interest. I want you to think about your input, your working being like compound interest. So when we start to work, we start to see the results, right? And we even have some dips sometimes, but look what starts to happen after time. You'll notice that the, um, and this is in like a very kind of a, not a replica, but a, this is exactly how they show compound interest working, all right? It's like your efforts all of a sudden start to skyrocket when you don't stop doing the thing, okay? So what I wanna really, really share with you and talk to you about is what are we doing right now every single day to make sure that we don't have the ups and downs of business and how are we going to commit to ourselves how are we going to make sure that we keep doing those things when we get busy all right now understanding that small tweaks to your behavior small small tweaks to your behavior will have massive impact over time and i can i can actually i'd love to have you know some of you talk kevin and and scott uh and mike can talk about the, the, what they've been doing. So they've been doing, showing up to a call every single day, an accountability call. They've actually, Mike and, and Kevin actually run it. And what it is, is you just state one small thing that you're going to do. Okay. What I'd like to encourage you to do is to talk to you about how we, I have this in my coaching program, my coaching program, we have like six or eight co times a day, but I'd like to encourage you to teach you how this works and see if there's a way that you could come up with other people in your area right? Or not in your area, just maybe pick a total of 10 people and you just set up this type of group to where it will work for you. Okay. What it is basically is you show up every single day and you just make one small commitment. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys were with me, if any of you joined me when I did the goal training, where we talked about your 12 months, breaking that down into, you know, months and then weeks, and then bringing that down into a day to get massive amounts of stuff done. So what I want you to think about is, what this accountability call does is you show up to an accountability call every day and there's your peers are there with you. Somebody runs it, but quite frankly, you no one has to actually run the call once you learn how to do it. And what you do on these accountability calls is you show up and you say, today my intention is, and you state one thing that you're going to get done. Now, here's the thing with this intention. It's a commitment that no matter what you do right? So it's even if it's something as just saying, I'm going to do one video text message today. All right. I know I teach, I tell you guys do 10 a day. I'm going to do 10 a day. But if you commit to just doing one, the idea is whatever you commit to that you do it, no matter what you adjust and adapt your behavior to make sure you get that thing that you say you're going to do instead of changing and not doing the thing. Okay. So what happens is after time is people will show up to the call and somebody will say, yeah, did you get, yes, I got my thing done yesterday. I actually got up 30 minutes early to make sure I did it. Or I went to bed a half an hour later, or I didn't watch Netflix today, right? To make sure I got, I did my commitment. And so you start realizing and seeing that your peers are adjusting their behavior. They're adapting, they're getting stuff done, right? They're not letting the, the be, they're not becoming a victim of their circumstance. They're actually making a commitment, sticking to it and doing it. Okay. So then you see some people that were like, well, you know, I was tired or I stubbed my toe or my dog, you know, ate my homework or, you know, it was just, I was so busy yesterday. My wife was in a bad mood, whatever it might be. Okay. The point is, is that when you see 
10 other people telling you that they got their thing done because they adjusted and adapted their behavior. They kept their commitments. They kept their commitment to themselves. You realize that it's all about you. Okay. And you have to just change your behavior. So uh, the structure is this, you, 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 you sign up for five days. Like you, you commit to going five days. You commit to the same time for those five days. And the idea is not to miss a day, to try not to miss a day and to commit to something. And no matter what you do that thing. Okay. You commit on a Monday and say, today I commit to doing 10 video text messages. All right. The structure is tomorrow is tomorrow. And I say, yes or no. Did I do my thing? Yes, I did my 10 video text messages. Good job. Today, today I commit to doing something different. What about, what do I commit to today? But the idea is if you say, no, I didn't do it. So let's just say I commit, I say I'm doing 10 video text messages. And the next morning I'm like, well, I did two. I didn't get to the 10. Okay, great. What can you do to adjust your behavior? What are you going to do to adjust your behavior next time? Well, I realized that 10 is too many. I'm going to, I'm going to commit to five and I'm not going to watch TV tonight so I can make sure I can get it done. Okay. The idea for this call is even if you just do one video text message, I'm just using that as an example. The idea is that whatever you commit to, no matter how small it is, that you actually do it no matter what. It's like your wedding ring right? You can make a commitment in front of everyone. You promise. And then you, when you want to, you know, when you're mad at your husband or wife, you still do that thing. You still stay married. You don't just go out and, you know, hopefully do, do whatever. That's the idea behind this. And what you'll notice is, is that when you make a small commitment over time, number one, you start seeing the fact that you're successful. Success breeds success, right? Number two is by the end of the week, you realize, okay, I actually did get 25 video text messages done this week. And last week I didn't do any, this is working. So what happens is over time, number one, you build up the confidence to increase your goal a little bit. You also build up the stamina and you build up keeping promises and commitments to yourself because you don't want to let yourself down and you don't want to look like an a-hole the next morning telling everyone you didn't do your thing. So you're more likely to do it. And then by the end of that week, by the end of that month, you've gotten more done in a month than you were able to do all year long. Okay. So what I would highly, highly recommend, <laughs> thanks James, what I'd highly, highly recommend you doing, and there's books on this. There's if you Darren Hardy, the compound effect, I've got it here somewhere. I've got it in my phone, but there's the compound effect from Darren Hardy. There's, so, there's, you know, tiny habits. Um, there's slight edge. All of those books, 100% talk about this type of thing. So, so many people I always hear saying, I'm not getting enough done. I'm not productive. Oh my God, there's not enough time in a day. This will start your day Number one, successfully. You'll start it successfully. You'll state your intention. And now because you put that out into the universe, your reticulator activating system is saying, how do I make sure I get this thing done? Okay. My advice to my students is, is to put the thing that you absolutely do not want to do. If, if it's something you don't want to do, make that be your intention for the day and do it the very first thing in the day. There's a book called Eat That Frog. It talks all about that, right? When you do that, when you eat that frog, when you do that thing you don't want to do first off, you have more energy and you're more productive for the day, okay? And many people say, I don't have enough energy, right? Okay, so there's a reason why I make my, my uh, calls, my coaching calls at 8 a.m. in the morning because it's not because I don't like to do them. I love to do them, but I want to do it and get it over with and start my day and start my student's day off successfully. And then I'm like, yes, I got that done. Nice job. Right. I feel good about myself. I mean, I tell myself things like that. Great job, Krista. Great job. Why? Because success breeds success. And the things that I say become things. It becomes my life. And I know that. Right. My thoughts become my things. That's why I told you guys to wear your bracelets. I have mine in my bathroom. All right. So what I recommend you doing, and I'd love to love to kind of um, open this up for discussion because this right here, it's a new year. And I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I don't, hate, I don't like that word hate, but I do not like um, what do they call them? New Year's resolutions. I don't, I haven't done them forever. They don't work quite frankly. Statistically, if you look at how many New Year's resolutions work, like, does any of you remember your New, your New Year's resolution for last year, like 2020? How many of you remember your New Year's resolution? Like, do this. If, if you were, if you don't remember it, do this. If you don't remember your New Year's resolution, everyone should be paying attention. Donko, you're not paying attention. Amy, are you in this? If you don't remember, do you, Amy, you probably actually did do yours because I've seen you in your, your weight loss journey. You probably do. Okay. Most people do not remember what their New Year's resolution is. And it's because it's too far out, all right? When you start making commitments on a monthly, weekly, daily basis, your brain is like, I gotta get this done. 
you know, have you guys, you know, that what's that guy, Reggie Miller, was it, was it Reggie Miller where he was able to do in like 20 seconds, he did nine points. Do you guys see that? And, and the reason being, cause it was at the end of the game and he was like, there was only a limited amount of time left. So we had to really fully focus and take action or he was going to lose. And he want, of course, his intention was to win. All right. This strategy works so, so well. And I'm telling you, we've only been doing it for about 60 days and we are seeing major successes from our students. Mike, talk a little bit about it. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I've been doing it for the last couple of months. It's absolutely amazing. I've seen not only myself and the growth in myself and my own business, but holding myself accountable and holding myself to the entire group. I'm, I have two calls and I have about a total of 40 or 50 people on there. And I don't want to come across either not making sure my goal is done. But the goal is, as Chris has said, is have two, one to two specific goals, modifying that behavior, getting that goal done. And that's two a day, 10 a week, 40 a month. You're going to see significant growth in your business if you just maintain it and commit to it. Thank you, Mike. And here's the thing, what happens in life, right? We get too busy. We get too busy. And all of a sudden we have these great intentions to do this awesome stuff, but then we get busy and we do nothing. And we start to feel overwhelmed and paralyzed. So we freeze when you make a statement. And here's the deal. Think about if you actually said, I'm going to do 10 video text messages by the end of the week, it's 50 by the end of the month, it's 200. Remember that chart, that chart, <laughs> that chart that I showed you, right? If you do that every day for a year, I guarantee you will pick up 12 new buyers or sellers. It's actually more than that way more than that, but I guarantee, promise you, you'll pick up 12 if you just did 10 video text messages every single day, Monday through Friday, 10 a day, okay, for one year. That's not like a very, that's, that's not a very, um, you know, it's, 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 it's simple, but it's not always easy because we get in our own way. But if you make that be your intention, like I would highly advise every single person here to go, okay, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna do this minute. I'm gonna call 20 of my friends. And here's the deal, they do not have to be in real estate. It could be anybody, but on this call right now, you've got some heavy hitters here. There's 41 people that, um, there's 41 people that like, I'm, we're talking about this too. I'm sure there's at least 10 of you that are like, you know, this is a good idea. If you think it's a good idea and you want to do it, stick your name in the chat and then hook up with each other on Facebook. And if you need a little bit of help figuring out how to, how to do it, I'm sure Mike or Kevin will jump on a, you know, 15 minute call with you or I can, or we can teach it again next week, like really specifically how to do it. Um, and get your own group together. Right. And the idea Excuse is, me. go ahead. Excuse me, Chris. Uh, so one, yes. one of your followers actually did this to me this morning, which was great. Um, but I just want to ask you, what is the high level intention of the video text that you're suggesting? So the video text message is, um, so what do you mean one of my followers did what to you? A video text message? Yeah, yeah. He connected oh. with me with, via this and it was actually really great. Okay, cool. So here's what it is. You just take your phone and you look at, go into your contacts and you pick somebody. Okay. Or you go onto Facebook and or Instagram and you find a friend. If you don't have any friends, maybe you've got one friend, who are their friends, okay? You can find friends of friends and you just look for something to compliment them from. So you go onto Facebook and you say, hey, James, I noticed James was on the power huddle this morning. So it looks like this. Hey, James, it's Krista. I was just thinking about you and I saw you were on the power huddle this morning. And I just wanted to compliment you for like taking your business so seriously. You're here almost every week. I just wanted to say great job, keep it up. Was just thinking about you and have an awesome day. Okay, before I send that, you're gonna send a video that says, hey, James, this is Krista. The video is safe to, the video is safe to, uh, to, to, to click on, right? And even better, James, if you do this, right? Yeah, he, he did this. Hey, James, <laughs> yeah, okay, this. I just taught this yesterday. <laughs> hey, James, James, it's Krista, it's me, huh? Right, he knows that that's a safe video. If I've got James's name on here, I know I can click that and it's not spam or someone's not trying to right, to spam me. So you do that. Here's the idea, everyone. And I, I just gotta tell you, I hate the whole idea of ask for referrals and it's like so cheesy. And I'm sorry that people tell you to do it all the time, but every time you talk to somebody, if they ask for a referral, they know you're in business people. They do. It's, they don't want to answer the phone or if it's always like serve, don't sell is what you want to do. So you don't ask for business. You don't tell them you're a realtor. You just say hello and give them a compliment. Okay. 
we I've been doing a, something called a challenge um, for two years now. And in this challenge, we've had like over 5,000 agents in this challenge. So we've tracked how many, um, how many deals the agents pick up in a 30 day. So the, the, the challenge was 15 days before. And so the average agent that actually did it would pick up two new clients in 15 days. Okay. A lot of people picked up zero because they didn't do it. We had some people pick up as many as six or eight. Eight was the highest. Eight transactions in a one month time frame from doing the just from the video text messages. So imagine you do that for third for a year. Imagine you do it for 30 days, right? But here's the deal, everyone. If you do it for 30 days and you don't see the results and you stop, guess what happens? It looks like this. Do you see the gaps? Do you see the gaps? The average person will stop because they do not see the results right away. The idea is you keep on going, okay? Here's another thing to know. You need your GPS. You all know what you need to do to be successful. You know, if you wanna lose weight, cut out the carbs, Get start dieting, quick, cut out alcohol during Monday through Friday, right? Like go on a keto diet. That's really bad for you, don't do that. But my point, eat more vegetables. You know what to do. You all know if, if you want to do more business, you know exactly what you need to do. You need to do more video content, be on social media more, get out there, pick up the phone, right? Like get more skills, get more tools, make more phone calls. That's what you need to do. It's not rocket science. But the reason why people do not do it is because you don't just need the goal. You need the plan and the strategy and your GPS, goals, plan, strategy, support, strategy, okay? This is support. This call right here is support. Showing up here every day is your support to make sure you actually get to your, use your GPS. Coaching accountability support, that's what this right here is. But if you don't actually do the thing that you're learning while you're here, nothing is going to happen because input equals output. If you don't do what you're learning, right? So a good example of this, you got a little excited last week about Clubhouse and I said, go do it right now. Those of you that did it right now are probably already in Clubhouse. Those of you that didn't forgot about that I even told you, right? And that's going to be a huge mistake in your business in a year. You're going to be like, dang, I should have listened to her if you didn't do it. If you did it, you're going to be like, I'm glad I listened to her or I'm glad I did that. Okay. So I want you to start, I want you to think about this accountability group. The idea is state an intention and you, you got to make it quick, right? It's not like, it's not a coaching call. It's a, it's a self accountability call amongst peers. You state your intention. The idea is no matter what your intention is that you do it. We like to do one personal, one professional. So my professional might be today. I commit to doing 10 video text messages. And today I commit to drinking a gallon of water. That's mine. That's mine today. Okay. I've already drank in two and a half of these. So I've got one and a half left for the whole day. Okay. If, if you can't do it, don't, do, don't do it. It's better to say, I'm going to do one video text message and drink a half of one of these and actually do it than to state something that's too hard. Why is that? Because success breeds success. We do better when we start to prove to ourselves that we're going to do things and we actually keep commitments to ourselves. Okay. At the end of five days, you're going to look back and go, oh my gosh, I just, even though I only did five a day, I got 25 video text messages done this week. And it doesn't just have to be that. It can be anything. For many of you, I would say, I would want your intention to be, I'm going to go live on Facebook today. I'm going to go live on a social media site. I want that to be your intention every day. I need to do that more. <laughs> my, my team helps me. They get stuff everywhere. But the idea is, I know it can be hard, but it's also going to be one of the most rewarding things that you do in business, especially if you put a little bit of ad spend behind it. Most important thing you'll do in your business. Okay, it's 30 minutes. We have one minute. Any questions? And I got to say, James always asks questions because he's actually listening and he's like, he's listening, right? So you want to make sure you ask questions when you're here, you're present because it, we're not, we're not mean. We're nice. If you have any questions, we'd love to help you and ask. Don't be afraid. That's what we're all here for. No, I must just be a good teacher. No one has any questions. <laughs> you're, you guys are bored. Hmm. Hmm. I actually do have a question. So the yes. follow up to that video text, are, are you asking them to then join you in Clubhouse? Or are you are you trying to motivate them to a call? You're just, just, just a, a connection. 
So it's just the connection. What happens is, is that they are, they remember that you're in real estate and it's like, it's, you're planting the seed of what it is that you're doing, especially if you're marketing and they're seeing you other ways, they, they're like, oh yeah. Oh, what happens a lot of the times is, oh my gosh, Krista, I, I, I'm so glad you called or I've got my friend that was thinking of, this is a great example. Okay. This is a great example. Last night I was talking to Tara Roy. She's one of my students and she mentioned Kevin Scott. And she said, Kevin Scott lives in Renando Beach, okay? If I had not talked to her yesterday, I would never, I know that Kevin lives in Renando Beach, but I, I have like a lot of students. So my brain would not have thought that. I had another student today call me and say, hey, do you work Renando Beach? Cause I'm in California. I go, no, but I have someone who does. Had I not talked to Tara yesterday and she said that, right? My idea is if I if I found someone today that wanted to buy a house, if I wasn't, if Tanya had texted me yesterday or la last week, I'm like, yeah, I know Tanya. Tanya's a realtor locally. Does that make sense? It's all about staying top of mind. Your referrals will go up. You'll retain more clients. You'll get more repeat business by doing that. All right. But now it's a matter of like, look, guys, we've been doing this for three months now. How long has it been? Three months, four months, Mike? Okay, probably four months. We talked about the video text messaging strategy um, for like a couple times. And then you guys asked me questions about it and I reminded about it. If you've been on this for that long and you haven't done it yet, you've got to modify your behavior to expect a different result. You can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result, right? So ask yourself, well, what can I do to actually start doing that? Krista has guaranteed me that I will pick up 12 new clients just by spending 15 minutes a day doing this video text message. Why is it that I'm not doing it? Where's my roadblock? Right? I have a question. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're, you're an Apple user, I can tell. Um, as an Android user, we have gone round and round with our database providers and bomb bomb and uh, the technical challenges to doing the video text messaging where I was really shocked at how much effort goes out to doing a video text message. I've actually started doing it through Messenger because it's easy. Um, how do you do this on an Android? Can anybody answer that in a way that's simple, fast, and you repeatable? Well, one thing can keep doing it through Messenger until you can fix it, but make sure in Messenger, no matter what, that you say, hey, it's Ken, you can click this. It's, 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 it's not spam because in messenger, whenever you get a video, a lot of times they're spam and people will get hacked. So you have to say that or it will not be opened. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. You have to that. say that. And you have to, oh, like, if you especially do this, really important to do this on the messenger, on the video message in messenger, okay. because right. I like literally just last week I got sent a message. I said, is this safe? And she goes, nope, I got hacked. I know that most people know that. So if it's on messenger, Unless you say that before, and a lot of people won't open. I would never open a video from you unless you said that. Interesting. But I don't know the hack. Does anybody else for for Android? You know. I tried bomb bomb. I was gonna. I, I was thinking about getting a second account just so I could have a iPhone and do it that way. Yeah, bomb bomb is um, bomb bomb is is good. It's I love bomb bomb. It's good, but it's clunky. If you want to just hand out, if you just want to hammer out in fifteen minutes, ten minutes. You're right. I mean, it takes 10 minutes to get a bomb bomb video done. No, it doesn't. Hold no. on. I got it on here. I can show it's you. This. Rookies like me, nine and a half. What'd you just say? Did you just put yourself down, Ken? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm just, <laughs> we don't, don't do that. Deprecation. We don't say that to ourselves. Okay. Your, your subconscious is saying, yeah, you are a rookie and you're, you suck at, you know, we don't say that. Our no, subconscious. No, we're after it. I, I, I'm after it. I mean, yeah, I can get a, I can get a new iPhone for 120 bucks. So I, I don't care. I want it. So I want the problem solved. Yes, and then see, I love that mentality. Very good. That's that's being an entrepreneur. That's being a business person. Spend 120 bucks to close 12 more deals this year. Smart idea. <laughs> Spend a thousand to make 150 thousand. I like it. Um, right. Okay. But now it's a matter of doing it, guys. This is like like when I have my challenges, I say, you guys are going to teach you how to build funnels, but you won't even do the 10 video text messages. Like, don't ask me to tell you how to run social media accounts and if you're not even going to do the most basic thing that will bring you 12 new deals. Right? Okay. All right, everyone. I will see. I'm not going to be here next week. I'm actually going to be in Idaho. I'm flying there to do videos all day long. I heard this company to like, I paid them way too much money to create some videos for me. Um, so I'll be there, but I'll be back the week after. Those next two weeks are very important. We're talking about 
um, choosing a niche. If you've gone to my challenge, eh, it'll be it'll be good for you to like have a re reminder and talking about your client avatar so that you can reach the right people, save money and have your marketing dollar move faster. So that's what I'm doing the next two weeks when I come back. Niching client avatar. OK. All right. Thank you. all right, everyone, make it a great day. Appreciate you all being here. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.